is up shout out to lethal gaming gear for sending this out to me of course it's going to influence what i say about the product not gonna lie i'm very appreciative uh to lethal gaming gear uh for trusting me to give the la1 you know a fair shakedown and maybe a little bit of light roasting we'll see how it goes from there i actually had this uh received like 36 hours ago but i kept it <laughs> Uh, because I wanted to make sure that I could do a video while I was unboxing it so I didn't uh, so I didn't uh, unbox it away from the camera so I make sure that I uh, got it out for you guys so I can share it with everyone and that, that's the LA one and that's the dongle so let's get rid of all the plastic and uh, what shall we do first we'll do the we'll do the mouse first right if you're interested in the mouse, it's gonna be. Uh, I'm gonna leave a link to Lethal Gaming Gear's uh, website where it's on sale for sixty dollars. Uh, if you're in Asia, the shipping is around twenty-eight dollars. Uh, it's the least I can do to show my appreciation uh, to them. And shout out again to Lethal Gaming Gear. Check it out. Remember, you're buying a mouse that has core pads as stock skates. That is pretty awesome. I've never tried core pads, but I hear good things about them. So this is the card you get out of it. You get a charging cable that isn't a soft cable. So that's really weird. I don't know why, uh, but you know, it's a wireless mouse. You're not a, this is not a, uh, you're not gonna play it wired. That's the 2.4 uh, dongle and the dongle extender with a uh, little gaming gear logo on it so that's pretty cool uh, it feels all right it feels different at least it's a different shape uh, other dongles are like you know kind of like just squarish and let's take a look at the mouse oh first of all i feel like it's incredibly light and how does it feel i want to show you guys first before i actually uh, molest the mouse uh, the white I'm getting the kind of white like an endgame gear kind of white uh, because if I compare it to another white it's kind of different this is a white white so let me just try it Ooh. Ooh. guano blue shell pink dots unmistakable sound unmistakable feel um, it, I do have a familiar kind of feeling with the mouse but it's different um, the buttons are longer than what I'm used to uh, I hate to comp I hate to show other mouses when I'm doing when I'm doing reveals and I'm doing reviews and when I'm doing uh, unboxing but you know you kind of like have to I don't know if I should do it but you know what I mean? The, the buttons are longer. If you compare that to a Lethal Gaming Gear or some other mouse, these are kind of like longer. It's almost half the mouse. So it's kind of cool. So you can actuate the buttons from up here if you really wanted to. If you're like an extreme fingertip kind of, kind of guy, if you really wanted to do that, you could. No problem. You could actuate the buttons here, which is kind of different it's something that i've not experienced so that's pretty good and check out the comfort grooves you can clearly see these comfort grooves are pretty nice uh they're, they're not super deep uh comfort grooves but they're there you feel it damn this is really nice and then uh, the side buttons are uh polished so it's a different feel oh the scroll wheel is great feeling it, you can hear it, it's kind of loud right now because I'm aggressive but if you're scrolling normally you can't really feel it and the, the, the bumps are very tactile and defined uh, very very good so do I have any kind of side flexing on my copy no uh, if you want to you know if you want to be nitpicking and call that flexing you could I suppose because 
there it is moving slightly but you know this is not going to affect affect me when i'm gripping the mouse and gaming with it there's no way this is going to affect me i don't know what the fuss is about now in case you're not in the loop about this mouse the la1 this is lethal gaming gears first in-house performance mouse uh, sold under its own brand name they spent a lot of time in r d and they delayed the release i think a couple of times i'm not sure uh, and that was because the factory in China did not meet the QC tolerances set by Little Gaming Gear. Now, long story short, they did their best, uh, you know, to fix the issues and release the mouse. And a bunch of them ended up uh, with squeaky side plexing, I suppose. And the company had to take back a bunch of them. They had to own the problem go back to the drawing board to try to fix all the issues and uh, yeah that that's the muscle there's on off there's the on off button there's a dpi cycle here and i don't know what is wrapped for no idea and i don't know why the skates are blue oh i see these have stickers right do they have stickers or oh, they don't i'm not sure what's going on here do i need to remove these blue things uh, I should read the instructions, but oh, Ooh, this is so satisfying. So let's get rid of that. Stick it there for posterity. More. Let's stick that there for posterity. Keep that as you know souvenir, dude. Now we test the skates. Let's move this to the side a little bit. Holy shit. That's really smooth. Damn. That is really, really, really good stock skates. These stock skates are better than the Lamzu Myers. The Lamzu Myers, Lamzu Thorn, they had the best stock skates. Uh, not anymore. Holy shit, this is good. Man, why didn't Sprime do this? Why didn't Sprime spend the extra one dollar or whatever it costs to put on skates like these? Holy shit, this is gonna blow your mind. If you ever get your hands on a little gaming gear and you remove the skates, there's gotta be something wrong with you. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Okay, let's check out the dongle next. Uh, okay, looks like you get you get a paracord with a dongle and the paracord is actually the standard kind of quality you get uh, although i think pulsar ones is, are nicer pulsar ones are like really floppy and i like those to be honest with you they're like cloth and they're really floppy and flimsy and that is a proper paracord that's my opinion anyway but these are uh standard every company makes paracord uh to this kind of quality which is you know kind of standard it's not a problem it's not the greatest but it is not not bad at all so i'm going to leave that there because i already have all kinds of cables on my table so i don't really need that and uh, this is the 4k dongle which will hook up oh there's a sticker that comes with it let's remove that sticker and stick it there for posterity and uh, yeah 4k dongle out of the little gaming gear there is a rubber yeah it'll stick on your desk Ooh, nice you know what it's time to hook it up and see what this mouse is all about uh, that's what I say oh hang on we, we need to weigh it first it's supposed to be 52 grams so we gotta make sure it's 52 grams is that zero yes let's check it out 53.2 it's probably the humidity because we're in asia so it makes the mouse a little bit heavier let's do it again 53.0 okay i'm fine with it this mouse is insane the feel of it in the hand is really nice in the hand the skates are phenomenal check it out that's okay this is my control my control mouse 
which is the stock skates on the G Pro Super Light that everybody hates. But you know, it's decent enough. It's it's decent enough. And check out these. Holy crap. That is really good. These are really good. Oh my god. And, and we've got an extra pair. And we've got extra skates. I wonder if I can cut them up and use them on some other mouse. Probably you can use them on uh, G-Wolves or something like that, right? Because they have a flat base. I'd like to use them on something else because this is incredibly nice. So, what does it feel like? Let's check out the... Uh, let's measure the grips. Because this is what I'm interested in. 55. So you're talking about a... This is a... Uh, a medium kind of medium size mouse when I say medium medium size uh, we're gonna compare it to another medium size mouse which is a VXE but this has a 59 millimeter where you put your where you put your thumb and fingers it's 59 there this is a 55 56 so this is the same kind of uh, width you get out of a uh, Fantec Helios or you know a medium medium sized mouse so this is kind of like a fat medium mouse and this is a medium medium mouse and then you've got a lethal gaming gear which is a small medium mouse because the lethal gaming gear uh, is 53 where you rest your thumbs so 53 this is 55 and if I'm being honest with you right now uh, the mouse that I'm playing a lot is actually the red, uh, not this one, sorry, pulled the wrong mouse. It's actually the Red Dragon, which is exactly the same in terms of the dimensions where you rest your thumb. I really like this, this feel where it is not too fat and it's not too thin. This is in between the little gaming gear and the VXE kind of size. It's really, uh, what I call a medium, medium sized mouse. And it's amazing feeling. This one, it has, it feels almost the same when it when I'm gripping it with the Red Dragon. When I'm gripping it, the size feels almost exactly the same. Uh, yes, this is a bit wider here at the butt. This one is a bit pointed, right? You can see less, uh, less hips. This one, a little bit more hips here, more this, this part here and it has more comfort the comfort groove is a lot more comforting than this one so i'm definitely gonna like this mouse i already know now whether it's gonna take my number one position or not i'm gonna find out because i can tell this is gonna be either number one number two or number three position right now as a favorite mouse uh we are back and we are now live and uh, check out the user interface and you will see we are 2.4 hertz connected and we now have 4k polling uh, ready to go it was just 1000 hertz earlier on uh, with the micro usb dongle now we have 4k and we are good to go we're gonna charge it up fully to 100 percent and then we're gonna see how long the battery lasts uh, when i do my tests and uh, you know check out how long the battery lasts and shit so this is the user interface I wanted to show you guys and uh, I guess that's about it. That's all I have to say about the user interface. But uh, my first impression on the mouse uh, is the coating. You've got that chalky, grippy feeling again. Uh, you know, it's not too sticky, grippy kind of coating. Maybe there isn't, maybe there isn't even any kind of rubber coating. Maybe it's just sanded down plastic. I'm not too sure, but I don't have a feeling like uh, it is no coating i feel like it could be a light coating of something it is i do have grip on it it feels nice uh like i mentioned earlier this is one old blue shell pink dots and everybody knows these uh, you know these buttons they are great um the side buttons are very very tactile very snappy uh the buttons do not go inside the shell so they're great uh i mentioned the scroll wheel earlier um, very nice feeling, nice clicks. Uh, the rubber thing is nice. The scrolling is a little bit loud if you are aggressive, but if you're not aggressive, it's just pretty normal. Very tactile and bumpy. You can feel every notch, every move. It's like 
my fingers are moving like a robot, right? That's that's not me making it up. That's that's how tight the switch is. When I say tight, I'm not. I'm, I don't mean it is. Uh, I, I don't mean it is hard to move. What I mean is it, the bumps are very well defined. Uh, how can I? it this way except it's very high quality you can feel it's very high quality the skates i already mentioned earlier these are like super slippery and immediately you know that you are in the presence of greatness this is really really good this is better than uh, i already mentioned this this is better than lamzu maya lamzu thorn skates and those are very very good skates mind you and uh, these are just they just they're better <laughs> that's all i have to say they're better and now you know recently i had a run in with a chinese branded mice um brand and i called the company out for you know misleading advertising uh and their cs apologized to me admitting that their product was not able to deliver uh what was promised in their advertising uh fast forward a month later they have not publicly uh, come out to own their mistake and correct their mistakes uh, regarding uh, the misleading marketing material uh, they believe maybe that nobody else complains they can just pretend it's not a problem uh, contrast that to lethal gaming gears approach uh, even with that minor body flex problem check out how check out how much this is flexing nothing you're never going to squeeze the hell out of it while you're gaming, right? And they're facing this kind of issue where they feel like it's a sappa mouse where if it was a regular Chinese company, they would probably just gloss over it and not even care. But they owned up to it. Uh, they swallowed significant losses and promised to do better. Now let me show you my favorite current mouse right now. It is a red dragon. Let me turn it off first so I don't click anything accidentally. This is a red dragon. This is my favorite mouse. I really like these two shapes are almost identical except this one is pointed. This one is a little bit wider. Check out the, the flex. There is a little bit flex on that base as well just underneath the thumb. Now if I'm being nitpicky and if this was a, if this was a Lethal Gaming Gear branded mouse what are you going to do? Is Lethal Gaming Gear going to reject this mouse, issue refunds, and then sell it for a cut price? They probably would, right? Because look at that, that's nothing. And holy, oh man, I don't know. If you guys, you guys need to support Lethal Gaming Gear. They lowered their prices for their current inventory. Uh, at the same time, they're doing research and development so they can make it, uh, you know, correct their mistakes or make it better for the next batch. This is why if you're in EU or NA, it's your duty to keep supporting uh, Lethal Gaming Gear. Uh, their actions show that they stand behind their product. Um, there is absolutely nothing wrong with this product and they're selling it at a heavily discounted price they are working to set things straight with their loyal customers and to make their community whole i believe that uh they deserve mad props man that's all i can say they deserve mad props for actually taking you know taking a significant loss on this product which i think there's nothing wrong with it anyway we can talk a little bit about the specs it's 250 milliamp batteries uh which i think it's going to last three days on the full charge on 4k we'll find out 120 millimeters in length 57 they say 57 wide but i i'm assuming that 57 is uh the top Let's just measure it and have a look. Yeah, 57, 58 is at the top. If you really measure it where your thumb and fingers rest, it's like 55, 56, 55.5. Uh, that, that's the measurement I'm getting. Um, the encoder, TTC gold, main button switches, one old blue shell, pink dots. Uh, again, core, core pad skates with an extra pair. 
uh, in the box. Damn, this is really good value for money. Uh, I don't like the green. I don't like the green light on the um, 4K dongle. It's kind of like no light is better, but green light is fine. I suppose green light means your battery is good to go, and then when you are weaker, it will be red or something. That's what I'm assuming it's gonna do. Uh, just the, it's like the same thing with the Prime as well. When you are low on battery, it starts turning red and then it starts flashing otherwise um, there's no light at all when you move the mouse a little bit then it turns green to, to wake up or something like that and then it goes off uh, but the one on the LG G just stays on uh, I mean I don't mind it it's, you know it's not gonna kill me but I'd rather have it off if it was possible and then flash red or turn red if you have a low battery but yeah that is the little gaming gear la1 i'm gonna put it to the test for the next 10 days starting today i'm gonna to go get straight on kovacs actually why don't we get on kovacs right now okay we've got kovacs ready to go let's start now a uh, bit shaky start uh, getting used to the mouse i suppose Normally a lot better than this, but uh, yeah, let's get into the groove and see what happens. Yeah, actually I'm not having a good time right now. Normally I'm pretty uh, good at this. Getting used to the uh, skates maybe. I can definitely, I'm definitely going to improve because I know that this is a really going to be a really bad score. So tomorrow I will have a definitely a better score. But this is my first attempt and I'm recording as you can see pretty bad score. Uh, other than that, the, you know, this is the, the Sprime mouse. So I'm definitely going to be the Sprime because the Sprime was on terrible skates. Uh, I haven't tried it with the new skates yet and I'm definitely going to beat it so yeah that is the Kovax results as of now um, but yeah back to the uh, back to the little gaming gear LA1 I'm really happy nice feeling that I have with it uh, I didn't do well in the Kovax because it was my first time with the mouse uh, first time feeling it and uh, the way the skates were performing uh, kind of different to the Prime that I have the um, obsidian blacks on right now it's a little bit different so I'm gonna get used to it and I'm gonna improve the scores but I will see you in 10 days or 14 days and I'm gonna give you a the lowdown on the LA1 thanks for watching and I will see you on the next video bye bye